Hey everybody, Ben at Classic Firearms. We've come out here on our loading dock today so we can get good light to show you a sampling of our most current batch of M9130 rifles. We wanted to show them to you unmolested so we haven't opened the crates yet, but uh, Kevin, if you'll stay with me, we'll pop a crate open and see what we've got. These just hit our loading dock. And frankly, with political climate in Russia and the Ukraine and the invasion into Crimea and so forth, we don't know when we're going to see any more. So we're very proud to have these. It took a Herculean effort to get these out of Russia, actually out of the Ukraine. But uh, I think it was worth it. These are very nice. Kevin, you able to get a good shot of that? Yep. Very good. You see the samplings that we have? Each crate tends to have two or three hex receiver rifles like you'll see here. This is a Tula hex with the Tula star on it. We've also got some of the standard Echevis round receivers. Here's another Tula, but in a round receiver configuration. Some of the earlier round receivers. Uh, another Tula hex. This one actually has a higher percentage of hex receivers than we're accustomed to seeing. I see one, two, three here on the top row. If that held true, this crate will have five or six hex receivers in it. Normally we're averaging about 10 to 15% on hex receivers. And of that, only a small portion of those will typically be Tulas. Kevin, let's move on to another crate. Some people ask us why we get a premium on certain rifles like a Tula Hex or a Hex receiver in general. I think this kind of explains it. There are just so far fewer of them per crate that we only get a few that we can sell as a Hex receiver or particularly as a Tula Hex receiver. Let's take a look at what we have here. Another beautiful crate of rifles. Thank you, Kevin. You can see the coloration patterns on these rifles. Very, very pretty. Most of them have the stock grommets in them, both fore and aft for the sling swivels. Really nice markings, very clean bolts. But if you look overall here, we've got a crate, at least the top layer, I only see round receiver rifles. I do see a Tula round. Very nice prominent star on that 1940 Tula. That's a later date rifle. But as you see, it's a good mixture of good looking rifles. Kevin will open one more, see what we got. As I said earlier, we're proud to have these rifles. We did pay a premium to get them into the country. From my understanding, they were very difficult to get out of the Ukraine. They were actually in transit when the aggression took place. Had it not been for that, we would have probably never even seen this batch. And future batches, of course, are in limbo. Nobody knows exactly what's gonna happen with that at this time. But as you can see, definitely something to be proud of and worth the effort. Very good looking rifle. Again, of this top row, I only see one hex receiver here in the middle. And I only point that out so you can see the percentages of what we get as far as hexes. Uh, probably 10% of any shipment will be a hex receiver of that 10 percent maybe five percent will be a tula hex receiver so that is why they command a premium they're just that much more rare we set these down off the stack so we could specifically get them at waist level and show them to you very well and uh, kevin sits it down let's look at one more just for consistency sake Oh yeah, overall, maybe the best looking crate yet. The guns very individually, but all of them look very nice. It's a beautiful light colored stock here. I was hoping to get it to sit on its own. There it goes. Some serial numbers match, some are stamped. Summer strike throughs, you can see the stamp number on the bolt here. 
They also have the serial numbers on the receivers, on the floor plate. We're not saying that all the serial numbers match. From a serial number standpoint or matching number standpoint, this lot is basically luck of the draw. But what we've seen and what you've hopefully been able to pick up by the camera uh, should be a good representation of what we have in this particular lot. All right, Kevin, you got enough footage? I do. We looking good? Very good, let me close it out. We are very proud of these 9130s. We're bringing them to you at the best price point that we can. We hope you take a look at them. And as always, check us out at www.classicfirearms.com.